Those assholes sure know how to get attention. You don't say. <laughs> Let's dance, boys! So after Bayonetta 3 came out, I'll, I'll be honest, I struggled to get into Bayonetta 3. I still haven't completed it. I found its opening so slow, especially compared to the first two, where it just kind of throws you in there and you just go at it. And it's, just, it's a button masher and fucking sl slasher. And you're like, yeah, I'm loving it, right? But that one was slow, but whatever. After that one came, came out, I can't pronounce this dude's name, but he's always been a fuckwit. Okay, he's always oh. been a fuckwit, but he makes good games. He's one of those people, all right? Okay. He is leaving Platinum Games, all right? And everyone kind of just assumed that was the end, okay? Without him, yep. it's over. But he, what he's saying here is like, no, nah, I expect them to continue the series. And he's kind of implying that you would be stupid not to. So, oh, okay. the Bayonetta director says it's a shame he won't get to complete his vision for the franchise. So Platinum Games, a co-founder and original Bayonetta director, has said he expects the franchise to continue without him. Prior to his shock departure from the Japanese studio only last month, he served, he served as Platinum's vice president and its most senior creative force overseeing franchises such as Bayonetta and Astral Chain. So this dude has a fucking, quite the resume, all right? In a new video on his YouTube channel, he said he expects the Bayonetta to live on while expressing disappointment, he won't get to fulfill his vision of the series. Kind of sounds like George Lucas a bit, doesn't it? As I explained earlier, I worked on Bayonetta 1, 2, 3 and Origins, he said. I've talked about in various interviews that the Bayonetta series would consist of a total of nine episodes. And that I've wanted to grow the franchise as a Bayonetta saga, but it seems like I may have to take the full saga to the grave with me. Do you, this, before we keep going, do you think this is kind of like his way of being like, Fuck you. Yeah. This is like, um, you're nothing without me. I dare you <laughs> try it without me. Go on, make a fourth one. I dare you, bitch. It's a shame. It's not like I own the Bayonetta IP, but I suppose those who do will keep it going. Sounding kind of like George, man. I find your lack of faith disturbing. So he co-founded Platinum back in 2006, but his career began at Capcom when he was best known for directing Resident Evil 2, Devil May Cry, and it's spin-off. See, the dude's got, like, he's been around. Oh, he's made he has it. been around, right? Yeah. So, yeah, my, my take from this, personally, is that he knows they're going to make more games because they'll make money, and he'd be yep. kind of stupid not to do that. But yep. he's kind of doing the George Lucas being like, yeah, but it's not the way I would have done it. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not the real Bayonetta, is it? It's not the real number four, is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. But you've never played the Bayonetta games, have you? No, nah, I don't even know who the bitch was. I just know she's got a nice ass and you and Beardo fucking chill for this bitch. I love it when people play hard to get. But I'm going to be curious to see how this plays out because I feel he's the type of guy, right? That when they inevitably announce a new Bayonetta, he'll make some sly comment being like, oh, is that what they're doing? Oh, that's pretty shit. Yeah, Imagine no, this, this dude like he complains like he's always been a fuckwit. He complains about everything. Oh really? But I can totally I'm kinda looking forward to seeing what little slide jab he's gonna make. It probably I won't even be a slide jab, probably mm -hmm. just be like, yeah, this game sucks, I know it sucks because mm -hmm. I didn't make it. All done. Well let me give you back your toy then. 